Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Your garage door opener has force adjustment controls. Force adjustment settings regulate the amount of power required to open and close the door. This video will demonstrate how to adjust the force and help you understand when to make a force adjustment. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. If force adjustments are set too light, door travel may be interrupted by nuisance reversals in the down direction and stop in the up direction. Weather conditions may cause minor changes in door operation, so occasional adjustments may be needed. Before making any adjustments, check the balance of your garage door. If your door has a problem with binding or sticking while opening or closing, or does not open or close fully, you may need to have your door serviced. Do not compensate by adjusting the force of the opener, as this may interfere with the safety reversal system. Let's locate the force adjustment controls. If you're facing the front of the garage, the force adjustment controls are located on the right or back panel of the motor unit. You may need to open the light lens. The up arrow with numbers indicates the control for open force. The down arrow with numbers indicates the close force. The maximum force adjustment range is about three-fourths of a complete turn. Do not force controls beyond that point. When should you adjust the down force? If your door closes partially and reverses to the open position. This indicates the down force needs to be increased. Using a screwdriver, increase the down or close force by turning the down force adjustment screw slightly. For example, if down force is set to 1, increase it to 2. Only set the force to the minimum amount required to close the garage door. Setting the force higher than needed will affect the safety reversal system. Run the opener through a complete travel cycle by opening and closing the door. If the garage door still does not close fully and reverses to the open position, repeat the adjustment of the down force and try it again. It may be necessary to make several adjustments. After the adjustment, run the opener through a complete travel cycle. Always test the safety reversal system after any adjustments. If you still have an issue, contact a trained door systems technician. To watch a video on how to adjust the travel or on how to perform the test of the safety reversal system, please click the link. When should you adjust the up force? If your garage door does not open fully, the up force may need to be increased. Using a screwdriver, increase the up force by turning the up or open force adjustment screw slightly. For example, if the up force is set to 2, increase it to 3. Only set the force to the minimum amount required to open the garage door. Run the opener through a complete travel cycle by opening and closing the door. If the garage door still does not open fully, it may be necessary to make several adjustments. After the adjustment, run the opener through a complete travel cycle. After any adjustments, the safety reversal system must be tested. If you still have an issue, contact a trained door systems technician. To watch a video on how to adjust the travel or on how to perform the test of the safety reversal system, please click the link. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. For more information, visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.